Hello everyone, I'm Super Twonky. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Vats Only. Last time we did some main questing. Free, uh, we didn't free Kellogg, we uh, confronted Kellogg. And also did the memory done quest to kind of get that out of the way. So now the glowing sea is available for me to go through to find Virgil uh, whenever I am ready for that. But I don't know if I'll be doing that anytime soon. I'd rather kind of keep doing some side quests. In particular, I want to find some quests that McCready is going to like. Quests that have opportunities to raise his affinity so I can get his uh, perk as fast as possible. But while I'm here in Good Neighbor, I think I'm going to check in with Cleo, see if she has any weapons with parts that I'm looking for. In particular, uh, 44 Magnum and laser weapons. I still would like to find a long improved barrel for a laser gun. So I'm going to check that out and then we're going to head off. So Cleo does indeed have a focused agitated laser rifle, which has the improved long barrel. Hey, we actually found Rufus. Seems like my kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but... Uh-huh. Name's Rufus. I do... I'm usually fixing stuff over at the... Uh -huh. Looking for parts? So we can ask him for work and then ask him for more money, which McCready will like. I could use work, depending on what it is. Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I... Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Thing is, it was never delivered, mm -hmm. which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold? This isn't exactly the safest neighborhood. Fair point. 300 cap. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna take Have you seen how many super mutants are out there? You drive a hard bar. Sure. Are you gonna- Mm-hmm. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So. The brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave- Uh-huh. I didn't get a notification that McCready liked that, which is a little odd. I figured that he would have, but oh well. And then I think breaking and entering and stealing is still on cooldown, so we'll save that warehouse for the next time we're here in Good Neighbor. So I am back here at the Railroad HQ. Mainly to check in with Tinker Tom, but also see if they have more quests for me. Uh, unfortunately, Tom did not have any deliverer mods for me. But Drummer Boy told me that Carrington was looking for me, so we'll wake him up. Ah, good, you're here. There's been a development. A raider gang has captured one of our agents, codenamed Blackbird. The twist is, we thought he was already killed at Augusta safe house. Desdemona clings to the far-fetched hope that A, Blackbird is alive, and B, he can tell us what happened to the synths held at Augusta when it fell. So she wants you to tackle this fool's errand. If Blackbird's alive, I want to bring him back. As you see fit. The dead drop has the full briefing. Raiders aren't known for keeping their captors alive. But, since you're risking your neck, good luck. Okay, we got Butcher's Bill 2. Oh, yeah. Now that the pillars of the community are cleared out, that we're gonna have raiders spawn here. Something I kinda forgot about. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this hardened receiver and reflex sight off of that 44. And we'll slap those onto Kellogg's pistol. And then we'll take this barrel off of that laser rifle, and let's go ahead and put it on this thing. So... Huh. I don't know, man. It's like, I know I'm gonna get a couple more shots in vats, but it's... The damage difference is just so much. I'm really not sure if that's worth it. I don't know, maybe the extra shots and vats will be worth it. It just seems like a lot of damage to be leaving behind. But I'll give it a try. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. 
Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast. Near it's a long walk. <laughs> Alright, well I wasn't here for that quest, but I guess we'll take it. What I am here for is the... The ah, the Marty Bullfinch case file. Is pretty isolated. We should Marty head Bullfinch over case. to the Nakano Marty residence when partner. we can. Emphasis on Find the out what their case he is about. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aww. What, when he quit? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's the one I'm that thinking now? of. You building a collection or something? All right, well... Let's see here. Guess we'll have to listen to Marty Bullfinch's holotape. Dicky, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery. I thought it might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a copper smith. Way back when folks did me. shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go to a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Alright, I guess we might as well go ahead and talk to Colette. Hi. I've still got a question for you. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. Do you know where I might find him? I'm sorry. I barely know the guy. Okay. I'm just asking everybody around town. McCready liked that, apparently. I did not expect that, but I guess that was a good decision. And let's see. Oh, no. The Latimer dude. Um... You know what? I have enough charisma that I can convince him, so... Sure, I'll talk to you. You there. We need to talk. What seems to be the problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son, Nelson. Is this true? I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. Uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? Wait, Paul Pembroke is dead, right? I heard Paul Pembroke ambushed him during some kind of chem deal. Pembroke? God damn. <clears throat> I'm surprised he had the balls to do it. But it fits. Just the kind of underhanded shit he tried. Always going for the quick score. Well, I guess he already got what's coming to him. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Alright, well, Malcolm's dealt with. And I'm going to go ahead and start the um, Travis's questline because there's opportunity to get affinity with McCready. And you know we're already here. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Concur. I haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. I can believe it. Excellent! I figured you McCready would like that. To help Travis win his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Not. I want you to be there to help make it look real. I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. They confront Travis here at dugout. Then you and Travis take them down. Simple. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Okay. It says after 6 p.m. Oh, it's like 5 a.m. now. Maybe we just rent a room and sleep until then. So, yeah, basically, Travis is going to get into a fight with these guys and we have to help him out. But I think McCreeny likes it when we do, like, the more aggressive dialogue options. So, I'll try to pick those. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. 
Hey there, pal. Oh, what's oh, wrong? It's you. Not so tough once you're not on the air. You need to grow a spine, pal. I, I didn't ask for this. I'm just trying to have a drink. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. You could have fooled me. <laughs> okay, that's... Alright, let me make sure I unequip my weapon. Or, I didn't mean to drop it. Whoops. No, I'm not throwing it away. That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said. Oh wait, I have to use vats, right? Leave me alone. <laughs> I I was about ready to like start blocking and stuff and like manually hitting them, but I think yeah, I still need to use vats in this fight. I think so. I mean it. Leave me alone. And hopefully McCready doesn't kill them. You were thinking about saying or else. Were you, Travis? Were you gonna say or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Oh, yeah? Should I execute a critical? I don't know if I should. Oh. No, we're good. They are... they are done. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> hey, Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it! In the future, never doubt me. Yeah, I guess not. But still, I, I mean... I never thought I could do that. I just never... I just never thought I had it in me. I think so. For for helping and for well, for believing in me. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. All right. So basically, Vadim wants us to convince Scarlet to uh, go out with Travis. So we're gonna go do that. Miss. I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Right. Did he... did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Uh-huh. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. And then we head back to the bar. Hey, Travis. I, 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 they took him. They took Vadim. I'll bring him back, Yefim. All right. So skip through that. Basically, the two guys we fought kidnapped Vadim, and now we have to go talk to Travis to get help bringing him back. I think there's at least one more part of this quest that that McCready will like. So, I don't know, I figured we can go ahead and and just do it real quick. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not screwing around here, Travis. I need to know, right now. You're not... you weren't joking? Oh, oh man, wow. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is absolutely your fault. And it's on your head if something happens to Vadim. So start talking. Oh man, I can't believe this. Yeah, you screwed this one up good, Travis. Look, I don't, I don't really... <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever... Mm-hmm. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. Mm -hmm. And then we can bring Vadim back. I'll... I'll get a gun... And I'll meet you there. Hey, 
I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. It wasn't a problem. <laughs> Are you kidding? You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. I hope so. For Duncan's sake, I do too. I'll put MedTech Research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Cool. So we got the next step of McCready's quest. So lots of stuff for us to do. Alright, with the plethora of options we have, I think I want to make my way over to MedTech to help out McCready. And then as soon as that's finished, once we reach 100 Affinity, we'll have his perk. So we'll head over east and I think we can stop by the dead drop on the way and maybe do the Marty Bullfinch quest as well since that's kind of over east too. There's the dead drop. Anyone around? No? Alright, so Agent Blackbird is right by Ticonderoga. Uh, that's pretty convenient. Hey, raiders! How's it going, guys? Let's give this thing a try. Accuracy isn't too great, but oh, you can line up a lot of shots and fats with it, though. More than I was expecting. Oh, we've got some fighting going on over here. Should I check it out? Is it Art and Art again? Art and Art! I think that's number five? Something like that. We're gonna have some super mutants up here. The ghouls that are normally here were taken out earlier. I don't think I kept the footage, but a pack of super mutants came running up here and destroyed these ghouls. So they're no longer here, but then we do have well, there's that guy down there. Oh, he's kind of damaged. And there's one with a missile launcher over there. So... Do we just... Do we just Righteous Authority both of these guys over here? Uh, critical on the Skirmisher. And then let's just do another critical on this guy. And then line up some more shots. Actually, that's quite a bit more shots with this long improved barrel. Maybe that was a good choice, even though the damage is lower. There we go. And then we can try to build a little bit of the meter back. Sounds like we might be getting help from the Brotherhood.
And then around the other side, I believe there is a suicider and possibly more mutants. Oh wait, there's the suicider right there. Right arm. And some other guys got damaged, so... Yeah, I think we took down his friends as well. Oh man, that was like a three for one. Alright, well... I guess into Faneuil Hall we go. Just some normal protector on watchers. Sounds like there's a hound here. I know there's like lots of mutants down here, but they all seem to be... Oh, here we go. A brute. Hmm. I'm gonna try Kellogg's pistol through here. I oh, don't know. I want to give it a try. Oh, we're in danger now. Like, full-on danger. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Um. Uh, all right, got McCready's help with that. And I had a grilled rad stag just now, which is why my uh, health bar it was just immediately on kind of the healing mode. Human time is done. This is the urge of the super mutant. All right, well, that was one coming from upstairs. And we are, like, down into hidden. I can smell you out there, human. Sounds like they still notice McCready, though. The joys of having a companion. All right, well, here's a guy. Another brute. Wow, not a bad place for pre-war money. I don't come to Fanuel Hall as often as I should. And you also may have noticed that McCready is now wearing army fatigues with some uh, armor. I finally got that fortified metal chest piece on him. Oh, a legendary protector on. Alright, I might have to try to take that thing out once I'm done with all these mutants, maybe? Fairly certain. No, there's no mutant over here. But there are up above, and there is a trap. So we will disarm that. And then I think the only other place to go is through here. I already see a couple of these guys. I know there's at least one hound in here, if I remember correctly. Alright. Maybe we just start off with a crit headshot on the brute. Alright, and we got one up above. Oh, and there's a master here too. All right. Here, human, human, human. I got a treat for you. Okay, we can kind of see the dust. Oh, there's the hound. You know, maybe we we'll use the deliverer here. Draw uh, just a little bit less attention. Right, there's a mutant, normal super mutant over there, and then I think there's another guy up here, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh my. 
All right. Let's see. Remember when we start off with a crit? And then try to get concentrated fire going? All right, and now I have my AP back. Still kind of learning. <laughs> and then we also have Grim Reaper Sprint. So it's still kind of learning what the... Um... Oh, there we go, a sharp arm. Nice. This is actually really useful. Was What I was saying is I'm still kind of learning the... Kind of the pattern for using this type of weapon. I don't know if I've re really ever tried to take advantage of the legendary effect that's on Kellogg's pistol. What is it, Relentless, I think? There's a dude in here, right? Couple dudes. Oh, do we got Penetrator? Did I go through both of them? No. Let's go ahead and take care of that trap so McGrady doesn't get a uh, grenade falling down on me. I think there might be another mutant over in this room. Let me just double check. Yep, there's a butcher. And a nice idiot savant trigger right there too. Okay, up to the top floor. There's the master. So you have 11 shots lined up. Oh, it's not going to take nearly that many. Or, I don't know. Three, four, five. And we get the Grim Reaper sprint. Okay. All right, and what do we got? Live and love. Nice. Hey, ten more health for McReady. Yeah, and this place is all cleared out. So before I head up to the very top to complete the quest, let's go destroy that legendary protectron. Cause I'm curious what he has. Maybe I should not waste my 44 bullets on this. <laughs> Almost got there. Just a little bit more. There we go. And then he's going to explode. There we go. Can I? No. Alright, so now I just need to, I think, open... Open the releases for these guys. Okay, thank goodness they're not hostile. Oh no! This one never opened? Did I need to open it first and then kill him? Shoot. Oh well. That was like the best legendary in the game right there. And I messed it up. I'm sure there were some of you watching this that were like, No, what are you doing? And to you people, I apologize. Uh... Trust me, I, I understand the frustration when uh, the person making the video is <laughs> making a huge mistake and just keeps going along with it. Um, so yeah, I, I sympathize if you if you anticipated that happening. Well, here is Marty. He didn't make it, but at least he drank a lot of booze before he went. 
And here's the gilded grasshopper. Nice. So now we just read food for the grasshopper. And then that'll tell us the location of the buried treasure. Which happens to be something McCready really enjoys us finding. Nice little, like, Skyrim-esque exit right there. Well, try not to fall off a building then, McCready. What's wrong with you? Ah, that's right, it's this graveyard over here with the ghouls that we already took out. I do want to make sure McCready is actually around to bask in the glory of me digging up this dude's grave. Hey, there you are. And there's a level up. There we go. And we got his sword, which is kind of useless. I feel like we were supposed to get something telling me that McCready loved that. I'm hoping it was maybe just kind of lost in the other notifications. Oh, what on earth? Number one, what's that ghoul doing here? And number two, how did it not detect me? That is wild. I don't know if I've ever seen just a random ghoul running across this bridge before. But we're gonna go ahead and find Blackbird. It shouldn't take too much time. Okay. We've got these raiders here to deal with. Yeah, just head on up there, buddy. I can see you real good. Very nice. And what the? Oh. Shoot him. Shoot him all. Whoops! I thought maybe I could just go grab it. But no, we can kill these guys. That works too. They're all pretty weak. Oh, you know what? You get a crit too. Even though you're basic raider, you're far away. Alright. Uh, we're caution now. That's okay. We have someone over here we go. Psycho, we can get some headshots on him. Or a headshot. And back to hidden. <laughs> okay, so we have to report back to Carrington for that. But I think we go ahead and continue on with the long road ahead first. So first let's level up. Still not a whole I want. Seems like a lot of the perks I have don't unlock till level 40 or later. But, maybe we go for gunfu? Why not? Let's try it. So, we do more damage to our second Vats target and beyond? That seems solid. I just need to get used to targeting multiple things in a sim single Vats round. And I guess that's another good reason to get the that long improved barrel on the Righteous Authority. We've got mongrels over here. I vat scanned earlier.
Whoa, that's a lot of them. Alright. So, second target and beyond, right? So there's a one. Two. Three. Four. Five targets. Oh man. <laughs> I did not line up nearly enough shots for these guys. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's just take him out. Oh. Okay, that was a really nice Grim Reaper sprint. I was going to pull out the Kellogg's pistol to regain my EP off of a crit. But, uh, yeah, Grim Reaper Sprint coming in clutch. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. Oh. There's still a Super Mutant here? I thought we killed them all, but maybe I just took out the... Suicider before? Alright. Yeah, I guess that works. Oh, and a synth. Um, critical? And then a synth strider. Right on. Alright, Slocum Joe's HQ. If I remember correctly, there is a lone mongrel. Oh, it's an attack dog. Oh, I guess that's an indicator that there are raiders around here. They've got their uh, dog kind of on guard. Interesting. Yeah, good old Malden. Let's go deal with a bunch of ghouls, huh? Got the high ground. And, I don't know, sure. Anymore. Well, I'm sure there are more. Yep. And he looks like he's got a buddy coming out right after him. Bot. Oh, here we go. Oh, this guy's crippled. Nice, more 44 rounds. And yeah, I guess we're ready to head on into medtech. Alright, so our first task is to clear the lockdown. Promising. So yeah, this is the room we have to get through. Let's explore and see what we can find. A legendary reaver, that's what we can find. Oh, 
but he's down now. A quick draw. Huh. I don't know if Radium Rifles are that great. I certainly don't have the perks to upgrade them all the way. They take lots of science and gun nut. Which, I don't know, maybe... Maybe that's another thing I can start spending points on, is intelligence. To try to get, like, science and gun nut unlocked at some point. Yeah, so far I haven't really... In this building, anyway, I haven't really had multiple enemies in my sights at the same time to take advantage of Gunfu. And I just keep hitting that railing. Just could land a crit on this guy. My goodness. Anyone in here? Ah, that's got to be a legendary. Yep. Oh, he's gonna hit me. I should have advanced defense going now, I think. There we go. We'll have to check out what he had. Oof. Alright, what do you got? Bolstering... Not really great, but it's a decent value to weight ratio. One more goal? No, there's multiple goals. A normal reaver. So we should. Gunfu is at second and beyond, right? So we should be dealing. 25% more damage to that guy. Holy crap, I did not see him. Woo. I guess there are three in this room, not just two. Alright, let's use the password to keep on moving. I feel like every time I come through here, there's always one more ghoul that I can never, I can never find. He's like in some room I always forget to check. Alright, airlock door is open. Let's see, do we open the doors and, you know what, no, I don't want the turrets to kill them, I want to kill them myself. What am I thinking? Have fun with this junk. I have no idea what any of it does. Ah, can I get you guys through the blinds? A little bit. That's not gonna get him. Okay, come on. There you go. Oh. Hello. An antifreeze bottle that I will refrain from picking up. Oh, more goals. Oh, that's a legendary reaver. Alright. So we get that one, and then... 
Maybe we just start with a crit on the Reaver's leg. Yeah, the, our, our penetrating shots are not properly going through the wall. Oh, McCready's over there, huh? Wait, man, I hardly damaged his leg at all. There we go. Hunter's laser rifle, not really what I need. Well, I guess that's the only way to go. More ghouls over here, can't quite target that guy. Oh wait, here we go. Is this a glitch? I don't know. That's interesting. That's gonna let me target him through the wall like that. I think only critical is gonna actually land. But I mean, <laughs> I guess that works for me. Oh. Whoa. Holy, holy seizure, Batman. Oh, there's a roamer. I can target his... Oh, he's like way stuck in a room over there. Not a big deal. Oh, that's just a basic one. Oh, man. Ooh, that'll get the blood pumping. Let's just try to target these with Penetrator. I probably didn't need to use that crit, but oh well. We'll just build it back up here. So I guess I have got a choice here. I can keep going with Gun Fu. 50% more damage to your third target and beyond. Which doesn't seem like it happens super often. Or I could maybe start going with intelligence. Cause I I'm thinking I probably am gonna need gun nut at some point. I could also just kinda sandbag this perk. Cause I don't think there's anything that's gonna give me immediate value. As far as the build goes. Unless I go for something like Mysterious Stranger, but that's not really in my plan, at least until level 50. So I think I save it and just keep my intelligence at two to maximize Idiot Savant, but at some point I probably will end up leveling up intelligence. That's one thing I've noticed I have no problem doing that I think I've seen other people can't handle is hanging onto perk points. I feel like I tend to do it a lot, I would imagine, compared to most people. Not that not saying if that's a good or a bad thing, just I don't know, just an observation. Oh. Hello. Okay, the turrets are down. We've got goals. Can I just take these out through the window? Kind of, yeah. Man, Penetrator is great. <laughs> Don't have to worry about those two. Got this guy over here. Let's take him out too. Is this cheap? I don't know. Let's not like hunt the rest of them down. I'll just go ahead and, and open open up everything. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Hey man, that was a valuable Mr. Handy model, buddy. How dare you. Let's 
So there's probably ghouls, yeah, on the lower level. Another legendary reaver. There we go. We're able to one-shot him with a sneak attack critical. Just a normal feral ghoul. Hey! Bats enhanced leather left arm. Wait, this is just a worse version of what I already have, because the Overseer's Guardian is heavy combat armor. <laughs> I was almost excited about this. I never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. Yeah, me neither, McCready. I've only got like two intelligence. Oh wait, here we go. This is my... Wait, alright, Feral first. This is my gun fu moment. Home stretch. Oh my goodness, another legendary reaver. And just a regular feral right next to him. Okay. I thought I was lost there for a second, <laughs> but turns out I was on the right path because, you know, there are more enemies. Safe crackers. That doesn't even feel like it's worth picking up. Oh, hey, hello. Okay. And we gotta be ready for this room as well. We've got a glowing one in here. Looks like a normal ghoul too. Whoa. He's going straight for McGrady. Yeah, go for it, McGrady. Alright. Now I can get involved. Uh and then here we go. Alright, let's land a bunch of crits on him. Refill my AP. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So we're gonna grab the yes. surgical journal real quick. 2% more limb damage. And nice. the prevent. Look alive. Yeah, what it Here you go, McCready. It. Holy crap, we actually did it! We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. All I care about is curing your son. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. All right, so medtech cleared out successfully. I'm just gonna do a little bit of looting here, but I think that is going to do it for today's episode. 
So, thanks for joining me once again. We've got a nice new toy to play with with Kellogg's Pistol. Kind of learning the ropes with that, so that's pretty fun. So, join me next time as we complete this quest for McGrady and try to figure out some other stuff to do. Um, plenty of side quests and things for us to take care of here in the Commonwealth. But until then, I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Bye.